Traveling with kids in Japan can be a lot of fun, but lugging around that heavy suitcase and strollers, not so much. So imagine exploring Tokyo's bustling streets or riding in the Shinkansen without the burden of bags. In this video, we'll show you why Takuhaibin, which is Japan's incredible luggage delivery service, is a game changer for parents on the go. Say goodbye to that travel stress and hello to a way smoother, lighter journey. We'll get you everything you need to know in this video. Hi, I'm Amy, a Japanese American mom to two Hapa boys here in Silicon Valley, and I still have family in Japan, so I've grown up going to Japan a lot. And plus, I want my kids to be familiar with Japanese food, language, and culture. So if you're going on a trip with your family and have questions about what to do, I'm your gal. Now let's dive in first to why Takuhaibing is a must for your trip. The transportation system is awesome. But honestly, you have to be pretty mobile. There are lots of stairs and people everywhere, and escalators or elevators are somewhere, but we had a hard time finding them for the less mobile people in our party. And even if you do find them, you know the size of things. <laughs> Those elevators are not big, so if you have a larger party, say more than four, you're gonna be waiting multiple times and it's slow. And if you're looking for an escalator, you might find it, but not always together with the up and the down. So you might get the wrong direction. You get my point. There's a lot of looking around. So if you have less luggage, the better. Plus, if you have small children on your hips or you're holding little hands, it's gonna be hard to do the luggage and holding of the hands and all the stuff. So. What can you do? Well, you can look at lockers. There are coin lockers at almost any big train station. So you could try that, but you are taking your chances whether there's going to be availability for the size that you need. And it still doesn't solve the problem of you don't want to travel on the trains with these bags, right? From destination to destination. So if you're going to another city, it does not help with that problem. So, cute takuhaibing. It is so convenient. You can send your bags to wherever your next destination is in a very reliable, quick way. You can deliver to a house, a hotel, Airbnb, train stations, even the airport. So really, you can pretty much send it anywhere that you are going. And you can even give a window of time. So it's essentially like storage and delivery at the same time. And don't worry, the time window that you give them is not like the utility service providers that tell you a time range and they come nowhere in the range of that. They're actually very, very reliable and precise on those windows. And they carefully handle your luggage. I don't know if some of your delivery items in the US have been tossed around and came broken, but I've never had that experience with my taco high beans in the time that I used it. I'm sure it happens, but it has not happened to me. If it has to you, I'd love to hear it. You might be wondering, okay, how fast can I get these things? Because you know, delivery services elsewhere aren't necessarily that quick. You can obviously check more on the specifics on their website or in person at a counter if you are already in the area, but here are typical delivery times. If you're in the same city or it's a nearby location, same day. Now, most deliveries within Japan can be completed by the next day within Japan, the whole country. Isn't that crazy? Especially for major cities, next day is a real, real possibility and reality. For more remote locations or longer distances, and especially the airport, they usually ask for two days. If you're going to the airport, they do not want to mess that up and don't want to miss the time that you want it there. So they will ask for more time just to be conservative to absolutely make sure that it is there. Now you're wondering, how much does it cost, Amy? Is it gonna cost me an arm and a leg? No, it's actually quite affordable. Small bags, as you can see, here's the price. Medium goes up a little bit from there. 
and large is a little bit more from there, but really, we're still talking mostly under $50. That's fantastic. Now, where can you order it? Because if you have to go crazy out of your way to get this service, it's going to be hard, right? You're lugging stuff elsewhere. It is so convenient. There are company or convenience stores almost everywhere you go, like on different corners as you're walking around. Major convenience store chains like 7-Eleven, Lawson, Family Mato, they usually have takuhaibin services. Walk in, find out, and they will let you know what they have. Also hotels. Any hotel that you stay at, the front lobby can most likely have that delivery done. Airports. You can get it shipped from an airport to a location or to an airport. And online. You can even get stuff picked up from your door if you fill out all the paperwork online. It is so, so convenient. If I have not said this already, Yamato Transport, also known as Kuroneko Yamato with the big black cat, that one is very popular as well as Sagawa. There are tons out there. Go check it out. But those are the two that I am most familiar with. Now, one thing that people do run into an issue with is filling out the forms because it's in Japanese. And if you can't read it, it might be harder to do so. Now, in big cities, I'm sure there can be some help with the person that is filling out um, the form with you, and they can help you with where to put the address, how to fill out the address and the name and all of that. But worst case, take out your phone, if you have a translator app, scan the words and the phrases and do that. But this is also showing you some of the steps that you will need to do to fill this form out. Friends, can we all agree that no matter where you're going in Japan, using takuhaibin while traveling can significantly reduce that stress of carrying around that heavy luggage and trying to keep track of the kids or the rest of your party? If you have any other questions, feel free to drop them. As always, if you enjoyed this video, I'd love for you to subscribe, give me a like, and share with a friend that needs to hear this information. And I'll see you in the next video.